Hello everybody, it's Eva from Zobby Tiger here again. Uh, I would like to share with you today a uh, junk journal I made. Uh, it was took a time <laughs> because I really like steampunk. I tried to do some kind of steampunk junk journal and I wanted to look really pretty and really steampunk. <laughs> and sometimes I've been lost in my in my uh, mojo. So <laughs> It's a little bit thick, I think. <laughs> I did many mixed media pages inside. This is cover of my steampunk June journal. Uh, as you can see, as closure, I'm using band. And here I used uh, metal clocks. This I need to cover with something. And under this, those metal clocks, it's piece of cork. You know, those wine corks. So... I cut them for those pieces and I use it because this screw it's really long it's going through to make sure that it's hold this band and hold all those pages uh, this chipboard it's from I think it's from Sacrafter Sacrafter shop I believe it's from Sacrafter shop and here you can see my cover uh, I made many layers of uh, cardboard and those uh, die cuts from clocks and here some piece of paper which I put through the embossing folder this is small charm I made those glasses and here you can see gears I put inside to this brush and here is back side of my junk journal and I really enjoy it <laughs> I really enjoy to do this <laughs> this cover so, as I said before, it's closing on this band, rubber band. And this is my June journal. <laughs> it's very crazy. It has many pages. Here you can see that piece of cork. And here I used uh, just piece of paper because that screw is ending right here. So, <laughs> if I will don't put this paper on... You can see that screw through that cork. So this is first page. Yeah, and uh, here I've got chain, which is going through the old book here down and on the back side here again on the top. So this is my first page. I used stamps. I used few stencils, few stamps. And this is from a steampunk collection, which I purchased, I think, on Etsy shop. I will try to find uh, where I purchased the, this collection. And if I will find it, I will put link uh, down below to that description, uh, description line down below. Here you can see which stencils I use. This is Tim Holtz stencil. This is, I think, Crafters. Crafters, I think, stencil. Here I made small tag, it's kind of mixed media tag. And here I made pocket on this page, and here I used few gears. And I really like this image. It's woman here, as you can see, and those gears are in her hair. <laughs> so this is first page. Here is my second. Kind of mixed media, <laughs> trying. And I really like those images. They are beautiful. And again, I used few gears. Few Tim Holtz stamps and stencils. This is, I think, from... I will have a look. I will find it. I can't find exactly this stamp, but it's from Urban Stamps collection. I, I think it's from that chronology, all those stamps. So this is second page. Here's third kind of layout or mixed media. Here I used a metal, metal clock. Uh, what is it? No display. 
Oh, I forgot it. <laughs> I'm horrible. I think I'm I'm losing <laughs> all all English words I learned. <laughs> Ever learned. Here I made small envelope so you can put anything inside. And it's holding this paper clip. Oh, yeah, it's here. That paper clip and it's in steampunk time as well. And here my small tuck pocket, I think, because it has a pocket here. Again, this beautiful steampunk image from collection I purchased. I, I think it was on Etsy shop. This one, here is just small card. Look like this one. It's like small tuck. Here I made a few pockets, here, and I used this beautiful stamp, and it has a pocket on the back side as well. Uh, here is just, uh, yeah, and I used those stamps, this washi tape, I don't remember where I put this washi tape, and uh, those washi tapes are really beautiful. Here I make this uh, belly band. I believe you call it this, like belly band. And it's small folder or envelope or booklet. Here is pocket. And here I've been printing on transparency so you can slide something behind. Oh, I have to glue it down again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I really like this image. It's beautiful, beautiful vintage photo. So this is... Here you can see that collection I purchased on Etsy shop. I will try to find out that shop where I purchased that. So, big element. And this is stamp from Inka Rinkadu, I think. And I used uh, embossing powder on it. On it. Come on, open it. Here is just stamp with old car. Here another steampunk pocket. Here are uh, Tim Holtz gears, dice, dice, Tim Holtz gears, and here is that image which I used on first, first page. It's really beautiful. Come on, go there, go there. I have to lay down. Here are two pockets on this page, this side and that side as well, and here I made another pocket tuck. <laughs> it has pocket again on the back side. This beautiful stamp. And here I really like this this image, this woman. So I tried to add some gears and here I tried to put um, it's called Gallery glass, I think, crystal, crystal, crystal clear window color. I know it's using for glass, but it's working on paper as well. <laughs> so I use this one. <laughs> and it's envelope, you can open it and put something inside here. And here is trying my small trying of mixed media, some kind of mix mess. <laughs> with chain and gears and uh, here you can see Tim Holtz embossing uh, embossing folder I use that bingo card and here it's just few empty pages which I uh, I think I coffee dyed them and this one it's from my plate I'm using in own when I'm baking some kind of uh, cake so i'm using that plate and it has this um bottom this <laughs> how you say that it has this texture <laughs> that plate and it's it look really beautiful <laughs> so here's few empty pages here another page with small pocket as you can see here is a man and again, I used small gear and I 
hopefully maybe you will see that but I use that glossy kind of glossy accent there it's not glossy accent but it's a good enough and here some duck and I I think this is from Epemera Epemera garden I I think again a few gears here I use this uh, vintage key and those uh, Tim Holtz gears and it's again like belly band and I use those small envelopes and in every envelope is small card you can write down something so it's here and another one is here it's same and no come on go there go there and a few tags they are beautiful I believe it's from Epamera. Those. Okay. Here another page. Here I use Tim Holtz uh, those clocks um, stencil, and here Tim Holtz stamp. And this is other image from that collection I purchased, and this one it's actually from kind of with fish with sardine <laughs> sardine sardine cash <laughs> can <laughs> so you open it that can with or no not can thin thin with this kind of key you just roll roll on that uh, lid from that thin and i use it here and i put again that gl glossy glossy liquid <laughs> And it's look like glasses. <laughs> and again, few gears I used here. Here is small tuck with pocket inside. Just like this. And again, another tuck. Few on the pages. Here is just small tuck. Here. And those that lupa lupa glass I made myself <gasps> it's a little bit dirty but it's working <laughs> I used uh, when you are making a uh, broche you are using those uh, adhesive, adhesive uh, circles it's look like this one you know those and I just use a uh, piece of um, metal wire and I circle it, turn it around. Oh my gosh, my English is lost somewhere. I'm so sorry for that. I hope you will understand. <laughs> Here, just stamp. Again, few tea dyed or coffee dyed pages. Here, small pocket. Oh, I lost the tag behind, but it's pocket there. And here is small pocket. And again, Tim Holtz stamp. And here I made again belly band and small tag pocket. Come here. And it's look like this one with small tag in it. This is another image from that beautiful collection, and here uh, Eiffel Tower. It is empty, and here is a very crazy page with chain, with gears. Oops, sorry, with gears and with tacks, and I try to put those three tacks together with gears and. That chain, I hope you can see <laughs> how I did it. It's it's not pocket, but you can slide things behind. But here is from that other side how it looks like. This is kind of mixed media page. 
Again, Tim Holtz uh, stencil. Again, many pages. Yeah, here I forgot between two papers. I forgot that paper doily, and I have to say, it's pretty. Look at that. It's really pretty. <laughs> It was make like shadow. <laughs> it's beautiful. If I will want to do it, I will never have this effect. I will never ever catch this effect if I will want to do it. You know, it's always the same. Two pages. And here. Uh, this is not belly band. I'm not sure how you call it. This one, where you can slide something behind. Not, uh, this is horizontally, but vertically. If you've got this one, it's probably body bent. <laughs> Again, this beautiful image, small tag and small brochet here. Again, Tim Holtz stamps. We are nearly in the end. Here again, paper clip. I try to decorate with piece of paper and key and brass. And this is nearly end of my junk journal. Here I made again a tag pocket, but you can you can't take out out of this tag because I uh, I hold it with this ribbon inside, so you can just slide a little bit out and in. Again, a few stamps. And this is last page. It's look like this one. And you can slide something behind. And here is totally last page of my junk journal. Kind of steampunk. I hope that it's look like steampunk. And it's really thick. <laughs> I wanted to change a few pages, but uh, then I, I decide, oh, I'm gonna leave it like this. <laughs> So, this is my steampunk junk journal. I, I hope you like it. I hope <laughs> you will take some, maybe you will take some inspiration out of this. I have to say that most I enjoyed to do this cover. It was really fun. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a beautiful day and see you next time. Bye.